Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I have something really, really cool for you guys. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna cover this really, really cool split screen effect that you guys can use in montages or as random transitions in your vlogs or whatever videos you guys are editing. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna recreate today by using some Audi R6 stock footage. So let's go ahead and check out what we'll be covering today. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18 as always. So right here I have this stock clip of this Audi RS6. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have our video tracks actually sorted. When we drag in our clip, of course, we have the first one where the basic one is on. But then we're going to also create a another one and we're going to create a third one as well so we have three ones of course in total so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a selection of which clip do we want to have at the top and which one do we want to have at the bottom so i think this one looks really really nice see where that clip begins which is right here then we're going to look for where it ends right here so i'm going to go a couple frames back all right so now we have done that we're going to press s to cut it then we're going to put that one onto the top track or the one above it so that we know oh, that's going to be the bottom track and the one above it is going to be of course the top track so now we're going to also look for a nice clip for you know the top i think this one is a really really nice shot i use it also in the intro so now that we're going to do is we're going to cut it right here and then we're going to just make sure to see which and how long the clip is actually lasting for so right here it cuts to this angle but i think it looks very very nice if we have multiple angles into one single shot so what we're going to do is we're going to put this one on the very top as well let's go ahead and drag these clips as long as they are in each other. So we want to make sure that we will have three separate angles, which is going to be this one, that one, and that one. We're going to insert this image, which is basically just a transparent image, but then it has a black line. I made that for you guys in Photoshop that you can download through the link down below so you know where to center it and where the actual center of the screen is. So I'm going to also drag that in right now. So once you download the file, it's called line template. It's just a transparent line, as you can see, that runs across this preview. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to make sure that we will select only the parts of the car and we're going to crop out these black bars so we're going to go to the event pen crop icon of the first clip and then we're going to hit mask at the bottom and then we're going to pick the rectangle or square mask creation tool and we're going to basically mask this part out until we have just that clip and not the bars we're going to also do that for the top track just go to mask then you want to pick that tool and then you just want to make sure you select only that clip so that the black bars are cropped out. Now, of course, the black bars you see right now are from the bottom one. So if I put that one below it, right now it turns transparent. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we will have this car driving at the very top. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go to the track motion icon. And now what we need to do is we're going to just drag this car a little bit to the top like that. And of course, we can crop out any parts that are, for example, exceeding this line. So we're going to make sure that our X is always going to be on zero. That means that our clip is nice and centered. So now we're going to also put the bottom one a little bit more below, as you can see like that and make sure that one is also nice and centered okay so now as you can see we have the top clip going a little bit over that black line so what we need to do is go to the event pan crop icon of that car and you want to basically drag this arrow up until it is below the actual black line that i made for you guys to use as a template this part actually cuts off right here so we're going to make sure that we will actually position this bottom clip a little bit more to the top so it actually touches that black line 
just like that. Make sure that our X is nice and is on zero, so it's centered. So let's play back and let's see what we made so far. As you can see, we have now two clips actually, you know, playing back. And of course, the transitions that I made is really, really simple. You just want to go to the, the transitions tab. Then you want to scroll down. You don't want to pick slide, but you want to go to the P where it says push. And then we're going to make the bottom one come in from the left. So I'm going to make a little transition which is going to be five frames long. And then we're gonna also do that for the one above it. Make sure that the crossfade is equally as long. And then we're gonna just drag on this guy on the top one, and we're gonna drag the opposite one on the guy below it. So let's see what it looks like right now. As you can see right now, that is, looks really, really cool. And if you want to, you can keep this black line and make sure to make that black line appear right when the clips are in the frame. So I would just make that black line start when the fades and the transitions end. So that's what it looks like if I play it back right now. As you can see, we have two shots from the car and that's just a really, really cool thing how you can make these split screens. And if you want to make them disappear, you want to do the exact opposite. You just want to create a fade out, which is going to be five seconds long. Also do that for the bottom one, drag on the push right to the bottom one and then the push left to the track above it. And that's how they can also disappear out of the screen. But of course, we can also make a fade out to that line. So it's a little less harsh on where the line disappears. So that's really cool transition and that's how you can make these really really cool split screen you know for example if you have for example multiplayer gameplay and you want to like showcase two you know povs of that round or whatever it's really really handy and it is actually pretty simple just go ahead and mask a little bit more with like the tracks and crop them with track motion make sure to add in these transitions and just you know mess with a little bit more with like how the length because you can also choose like how long they are it's not really that complicated at all just drag in this black line so you know what the exact center is make sure that they're touching this black line and they're not going over it and that's how you can create this really really cool slider transition in vegas bro 18. all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to create this really really cool split screen effect using some stock transitions in vegas pro and just you know some masking and you know track motion making sure that all the levels of uh, the, like how high the first clip is and the top one and the bottom one are all synchronized using this really, really cool template link. I will also leave down in the description where you can download that black line so you make sure that you know it, like everything is nice and centered. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to award it with a like down below and also make sure to let me know in the comments what you would like to see for future videos. So thanks a lot for the continued support guys and I'll see you guys obviously in the next one.